Item Style Updater. This is a new feature in Edge 21.1. This will allow you to copy information from one item to all other items that have that same vendor and style number. As you can see here, I have a list of eight items that are currently in stock that all have the same vendor and style number. If I bring up one of these items, you'll see that I have my general tab filled out nicely, stone information's there, it is missing pre-appraisal information. It's also missing all of my website tab information. The website tab may or may not be in your system, depending on if you're set up to integrate with a website. This can be turned on. You would need to speak to Edge Tech Support to get this done. Under Supervisor, there is a new option called Update Style. There's also a new permission on the Sales Associate record that allows people to mass update styles. When we click on that, you'll see that you have the option to copy all details, which is the item details, description, stone records, images, website tab, and pre-appraisal. You'll also see you have the option of whether you just want to copy to the in-stock items or all sold statuses. You can also choose to just copy them to certain inventory types. That's what he, this is. Inventory, memo, live, foe. You can choose multiple options here. The details are going to be the details that show up over here. So when we're talking about copying details, this is what it's gonna copy. Description is your description. Stones, is the records that are put in on the stones tab. So if you have stones on this record, or if someone forgot to put the stone records in, and there was eight or nine items that were entered, you can enter them on one, and if they are the same on all the items, you can actually copy that to all the other items that have this same vendor, vendor style. Pre-appraisal. Pre-appraisal is the appraisal that will print at point of sale when the item is sold. So if you're just putting the pre-appraisal on this item, you can copy that to all the other items that have that same vendor vendor style number. And again, the website tab, this is the information that goes up to the website. And if you are using a website, you wanna make sure you're pulling your information here because all the stuff in the edge, the description and things like that are meant for showing the customer what they bought after you've made the sale. Usually the website tab is going to be a more romantic description that actually helps sell the item on the website. So if I wanna go in, and the other thing that can be transferred is the images. So if I have an image on this one, but I haven't put it on the other ones because I put all the items in and then took the image on one, I can copy that image to all the rest. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna update, update my website tab. And I'm gonna say that this belongs in the color stone earrings. I'm gonna call it a sapphire drop earring. And I'm just going to say, this is the description. So now I've updated that tab. I can also go in and I can update my pre-appraisal to be whatever I want that to show on the pre-appraisal when it's sold. So now I've updated a couple tabs, I'm gonna hit save and stay. But I wanna copy that information to all the other items that have this vendor and this style number. So I'm gonna to go to supervisor and I'm gonna say update style. I'm gonna update all my in-stock items for this. If I wanted to, I could choose sold, and it will actually add that pre-appraisal to all the sold items. So if someone does come in and say, hey, can I have an appraisal? I can look at their history and print the pre-appraisal instead of writing a full appraisal. And I'm also gonna say, I don't care where it is, I want this information updated, or what type of item it is. All details. If I put my ear over it, it's gonna show you what it's gonna copy. And again, it's copying these details here. So it's copying the style is drop, the middle is 14, 
the color is white, and the, pol the finish is polished. It's going to copy description. So if I updated the description, it's going to bring that new description over to all the rest. If I had checked stone records, it's going to bring my stone one and stone two to all of the other items that have the style. Images. If I didn't have images on the other one, I can copy the images to it. What I actually want to do, since the only thing that I changed was website and pre-appraisal, is I'm going to check those. When I hit save, it's going to go through, and again, I had eight items in total, and it's telling me that it updated all the other seven items. So when I click OK, it's going to go through and update those items. So now, when I choose any of these other items that did not have any of that information, when I go there, you'll see my pre-appraisal tab is filled out with the same information that I put on the other one, and my website tab is also filled out with the same information. So again, on any item, doesn't matter what item you're on, you'll always have the option of supervisor. You'll be able to hit update style, and you'll be able to copy details, description, stone records, images, website, and pre-appraisal to all the other items that have that same vendor and vendor style number. One thing I do want to show you is if I happen to bring up an item that does not have a website tab. So this particular one never had any website information. If I go in and I go to supervisor and I hit update style, you'll see that anything that is blank will tell you this will clear the information from all the other records. So this particular item, for some reason, someone didn't enter the stone information. So if I choose to copy stone records, it is going to clear the stone data on all the other records. If I choose to copy the website tab, it will clear all the other item records, website tab, so there's nothing there. So again, the style updater is a new feature in the Edge 21.1 release.